conducted. Yes, it was, but just slightly so. And the other thing was that when you took a static meter and charged it up and did this for 20 minutes, man, it would not move the meter. <laughs> Simply did not charge. Whereas the standard things that one runs into, just for fun, how many of you guys carry the instructions on how to keep the place free of static around in an envelope like that, you know? Okay. It's standard. They're part of the scenery. You better learn that they're there. Okay. So, immediately was snapped up and they said, would you identify this for us by printing on it with conductive ink? This is RCAS 1200. Really, it is, fellas. We said, wait a minute, man. That ink would have produced a spark if you reached for it. Remember? Small though it was. Secondly, it would shed metallic ink or conductive ink and deer stuff. So we said we wouldn't do it. The guy said, all right, we'll color it for us. We said, what color? The guy said, red for safety. We're going to drape the Saturn V and make the world's largest phallic symbol. And we said, no, if we did that, it would uh, make it opaque and you couldn't see what's in it. You have the black bag full of dynamite caps again. Huh? So we backed off on the intensity of the red and we ended up pink. And that miserable pink color has haunted me for something like 20 years of all the sexy colors for an industrial use. Man, that belongs in a nursery or a bedroom, any way you play that. The guy that introduced me at Rockwell when we draped the first spacecraft in that says, Anderson, I don't care what they say about your color, I think it's darling. You know, you get a lot of that. <laughs> the funny thing is that that turned out to be like falling in the sewer and coming up with the crown jewels. Pink is an unusual color in an industrial atmosphere, given, right? You walk aboard a battleship and something is pink, you either worry about the crew or you figure that's pink for a damn good reason, right? So it turns out that's the color for it has become picked up as the flag for antistatics. Does everyone understand that? Okay, that's where it came out. I'm kind of proud of that, but it's interesting. Unfortunately, we have no monopoly on the color pink, so as soon as this became a financial pleasure, everybody that could throw pink color into polyethylene, and sometimes an antistatic, sometimes not even that, was making pink poly. Okay? But it is a good material, and it's a good way to know how to do that, but at least know who made yours. Okay? We're now required by the government to stamp our names colorlessly into every one of these military bags because of the bad, how would you say, the growth of the imitators on the field with no background history. So that was originally immediately snapped up at Cape Kennedy and has been used to drape every spacecraft that's flown in the past 12 years, has been, or 20 years, has been covered with that or its first cousin, which is an antistatic nylon we make called RCS 2400 because it costs twice as much. We have a complex way of naming things. 